Linux uses various daemon processes to control and manage its services. Network Manager is a network control and configuration daemon. Starting from RHEL7, it provides the default networking service on Red Hat Linux. It dynamically controls all networking devices and their connections. It keeps them up and active when they are available. It offers various tools and commands to configure and manage them. Before we learn how to use Network Manager to manage network devices and connections, let's understand the meaning of network devices and connections. LAN cards, network adapters, or network interface cards are hardware adapters that provide one or more Ethernet ports. An Ethernet port is called a network device or a network interface. A network interface uses a connection to connect the network. A connection is a collection of all settings the interface needs to connect to the network. IP configuration, hardware address, boot state, and device name are some examples of the settings the connection includes. You can assign multiple connections to an interface but can use only one connection at a time. To assign multiple connections, you need to use a unique name for each connection. You can also configure the interface to automatically select the appropriate connection. Starting from our HEL7, the UDEV-D service provides the default naming scheme for network interfaces. This service usages many rule sets to assign a unique name to each interface. To generate a unique name for an interface, it uses the device firmware, location, topology, and type. In generated name, the first two letters represent the device's firmware. For example, Ethernet interfaces begin with EN, VLAN interfaces begin with WL, and WAN interfaces begin with WW. The next letter represents the device's type, location, or topology. For example, the letter O represents an onboard device, the letter S represents a hot plug slot, and the letter P represents a PCI card. The remaining numbers represent an index, ID, or port. Let's take an example name Eno 16777737. In this name, the first two letters EN stand for an Ethernet interface. The next letter O stands for an onboard interface. The remaining number 16777737 is a unique ID number. Using Network Manager makes network management easier. If Network Manager detects a network device without a connection, it automatically creates a temporary connection and attaches it to the network device. Let's understand it through the example. Currently, this system has one Ethernet card. If we attach one more Ethernet card to it, Network Manager will automatically create a temporary connection and attach it to the Ethernet card. To attach a new Ethernet card, shut down the system. Click Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Select Network Adapter and click Add. Select Network Adapter and click Finish. Click OK. Now power on the virtual machine again. Log in from the root user. Open Terminal. List all interfaces again. This is the new interface that we added recently. As you can see here, it automatically got a connection profile. Can you guess where this connection profile came from? When we start the system, the UDEV-D service scans all network slots and assigns a unique name to each interface, and reports all detected network interfaces to Network Manager. Network Manager checks all interfaces. If it finds an interface without a connection, it creates a temporary connection and attaches to it. This practice ensures that the system can use the new interface as soon as you attach it to the system. The next advantage of using Network Manager is that it includes various tools that allow us to configure and manage connections easily. It allows us to configure IP addresses, default gateway, static routes, network aliases, DNS information, VPN connections, and many other connection-specific parameters. It also offers an API through DBus. 
applications can use the API to query and control network configuration and state. For example, the RHEL web console, which monitors and configures servers through a web browser, uses the Network Manager DBus interface to configure networking. Network Manager can also save and maintain the state of devices after the reboot process. To save the state of an interface, it uses configuration files. Let's take an example. Suppose, you don't want to start this interface at the boot time. For this, you can use a Network Manager's tool called NMCLI to change the boot state. Currently, the value of the on boot directive is set to yes. If we set it to no, the boot process will not start this interface when the system boots. Let's restart the system. Log in again from the root account. Here you can see, that the boot process did not start this interface. The system CTL command lists and manages the state of services. It supports many options. Some important options are status, start, stop, enable, and disable. Let's take some examples to understand how to use these options to manage the network manager service. To view or check the current status of Network Manager, we use the Status option. In the output, if we see Active here, it means the service is up and running. Or if we see Inactive here, it means the service is down and not running. To stop the Network Manager service in the current session, we use the Stop option. To start it again, we will use the start option. The start and stop options start and stop the network manager service in the current session only. If we want to start or stop it at the boot time, we need to use the enable and disable options. To disable it at the boot time, use the disable option. The boot process uses a list of script files to start services. This command removes the script files that start the network manager service from the list. To add them again, we will use the enable option. This command will add the script files again to the list of the boot process. There are five commands and utilities that you can use to connect to network manager. These are NMCLI, NMTUI, Control Center, NM Connection Editor, and Network Connection Icon. From these, NMCLI, NMTUI, and NM Connection Editor are the part of Network Manager Package. Control Center and Network Connection Icon are offered by GNOME Desktop Package. Let's discuss these commands and utilities in detail. NMCLI is the main command of Network Manager. It can control and configure all aspects of network devices and connections. It does not need a GUI environment to run. Generally, administrators do not install a GUI environment on Linux servers. If GUI is not installed, you can use it to manage and configure all network devices and their connections. It runs on all platforms and supports all features and functions of Network Manager. Network Manager offers the NMTUI utility to users who don't like to use a command to manage network devices. It provides a curses-based text user interface for Network Manager. It runs on the command line and desktop. It does not work on a remote connection. It supports all important features of Network Manager that you need to configure and manage network devices and their connections. If you find working with the command line a bit difficult, you can use this utility to configure network devices. The NM Connection Editor 
Network Manager offers this utility for desktop users. It is similar to NMT UI utility. It supports the same features and provides the same functions. The only difference between NMT UI and NM Connection Editor is that NMT UI needs only basic graphics. It can run on the command line and desktop. Whereas NM Connection Editor needs full graphic. You cannot use it on the command line. So far supporting features and functionalities are the concern, both are the same. You can use both utilities to add, remove, and modify network connections. GNOME Desktop Package also offers two tools to work with the Network Manager. These tools are the Network Control Center and Network Connection Icon. Both tools use Network Manager's API to manage and display the current state of network devices. To start the Network Control Center, type Network here, and click Network. From here, you can manage all essential network settings. GNOME also displays the current status of all detected network interfaces here. You can perform some basic tasks directly from here such as viewing the current status of an interface and connecting or disconnecting an interface. To open this interface's setting in the Network Control Center, click here. The Network Control Center and Network Icon both are the part of GNOME Desktop Package. They will be available if you install the GNOME Desktop. Let's summarize all five utilities once again. The NMCLI command runs on all platforms. It is complex but supports all features of Network Manager. The NMTUI utility runs on both CLI and GUI. It supports all necessary features of Network Manager. The NM Connection Editor is similar to NMTUI but runs only on GUI. Network Control Center runs only on the desktop. It supports all essential features of Network Manager. The Network Connection icon is also available only on the GUI. It supports only basic features. That's all for this video. In this video, we learned about the Network Manager service on Linux. If you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback related to this video, Please share them in the comment section given below.